Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about lazy update stating issue in React.js, which creates almost undetectable bugs. If you look at the simple counter project right now, we have a lazy increase, which increases the value after three seconds using a set timeout. And then we have a simple increase, which increases the value instantly. Now, if I click on lazy increase first, and then I click on increase five times, you see it resets back to one. Now this is the problem that happens and it causes a bug which is basically undetected. I mean your code will look very clean and you will wonder what has caused this. So let's talk about this in this one simple straightforward short video. Well, so this is the very basic application that we have right now. It has nothing. So I'll first give some padding to my division because I want things not to stick to the corners. Then I have a simple H1 which shows the current counter value which is this counter variable which we will create soon. Now out of this h1 we again create a set state i will set the counters value to zero by default and then we have counter and set counter which will help us with displaying the current counter and will set the counter then we have a button which will be increased so you click on this button there is an on click and we call this function increase so the increase function will simply just just set the counter and will increase the value of counter by one something that you already know let's save this let's go back and now as you can see if i click on this increase button it will increase the counters value by one Okay, it's working fine. Now let's do something more here. Now moving forward, we'll simply replicate this button and this will be a lazy increase. And this won't call increase. This will basically call another function which is lazy increase. And this lazy increase function, we don't call this set counter. We basically first call set timeout. And after 3000 milliseconds, which is basically three seconds, we are going to update this state. Now let's save this. Let's go back and let's refresh the application. Now, if I click on increase five times, it increases the value. And obviously, if I click on lazy increase, it will first wait for three seconds and then it will increase the value of counter to six, something that's working perfectly, right? Now, the problem is if I first increase the value five times, then I say, hey, let's uh, do lazy increase. But I forget and I start increasing the value again. You will see after some time, the counter is again resets back to some previous value. Let's take a look at this again. I first click on increase five times, then I click on lazy increase and I click on increase three times. But instead of going nine, it goes back to six. So what's happening here is that basically when we click, when we call this lazy increase function, JavaScript will use the current counter value to update the counter, which in this case was five. So then after three seconds, it used five, added one to it and set the value of counter to six, just as we saw here. And this is something happens when if you, if you have a function which kind of updates the state after some time but you're also updating the state via another function that updates the state immediately then this might cause a bug and this is a very common way of using set state so if you're looking at the code you won't find any mistake right i mean here the functions are straightforward so you know that the lazy increase function is causing the issue in a real project it won't be so, so straightforward and you might think that hey why is this happening i mean i click on raise increase and it works the way as i expect it to like after some times it updates the value I click on increase it updates immediately so now to solve this what we do is that we use set counter with a callback the method that is actually supposed to be used but since this doesn't cause any problem in almost all the cases we get addicted to using this so what we basically do here is that we call set counter but here we use callback so we first grab the value of current counter and then we say that return the value of current counter and add one to it now, if you save this, what's basically happening is there. If I increase the value, let's say five times, I click on lazy increase and I go to eight. Now this will set this to nine because when this function runs, it's going to call set counter, but set counter will again grab the current counter value. And it will then return one added to the counter. So in simple terms, if you have an application which is doing lazy update and an immediate update, then make sure that in your lazy update, you don't just set the value, use this callback so that it uses the current value if you're updating it, let's say in some time or something as such. Just a simple video, the current, the entire point of this video is to use callback in your set state. If you are using a lazy increase and an immediate increase in this way, you won't discover bug because this is the kind of bug which is almost undetectable by looking at the code. I mean, if we have a really large messy code and well, it causes some unexpected bugs at unexpected time. Well, that's pretty much it from my side in this simple video. I'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about coding, React, JS, Flutter and whatnot. And if you like the video, make sure you like this one and you check out my website, DC Programmer Pro. There you will find a lot of courses which will help you in building your application, getting a job and doing everything that you ever dreamed to do with software development.